What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And we just going to go ahead and jump right into it, man. These situations that be going on with these uh, truck drivers, it doesn't matter. Both of you guys, whether you're new or old, you really need to check out the companies that you guys are really going to mess with. Now, I know some of you guys say, hey, I'm going to check it out for myself. And I get it. I get it because everybody experiences doesn't match well with everybody else's experience. But as you guys seen in the opening of this podcast, y'all see my man is tearing up the truck. He's like just doing things to the truck because the company has does it to him. Shout out to the subscriber that linked this video to me. And in this video, we're heading over to the Facebook group and we're going to jump right into it. So the guy in the post says, I almost lost my house fucking with them. Now, he did not put the company name in this post. And I'm, I'm just speculating here that it could be controversial company. <laughs> Because I could be wrong, but it could be controversial company. But anyway, it goes to say. Lucky for me, I had credit cards with 80,000 in some savings. Man, give me a credit card that got about 80K. My man must got a black card. He says. That year, I used 60% of my credit cards to pay debt and I'm still paying. Went almost two weeks without paying me. So I decided to make them pay that money one way or another. So he decided to make them pay. He said he's going to get his money one way or the other. He said they either going to give him his cheddar, cheese, or he's going to make sure that they're going to pay in other ways. And as y'all seen in the video, that was one way that he was making them pay. He goes on to say, I spent three hours working on that MVR truck. I bet they spent more than 80000 He said, All 18 tire flap, doors rip off, all windshield cracks, all airbags got holes, cut every lines I can find, in drop trailer without landing gear down. Well, you know how that's going to play out, especially if it got over 40, about 40000 in the box. Yeah, that's not going to be the easy lift up. He said, Dashboard all cracks, can't see nothing. I felt bad whoever driver coming to recover that truck. But he did say, I feel bad for whoever coming to recover that truck. Listen, listen, I, I, I understand you get treated some kind of way. You going two weeks without getting paid. And everybody, I'm not saying that everybody know about the company, but y'all still giving the company the benefit of the doubt just to see how it would work for you. Now, I know a lot of people come over to me and they be like, yo. I got a story to tell. I want to tell my story and yada, yada, yada. And I'm great for it. But my guy that, that I rock with in the background, he was like, yo, man, they probably might be doing this just to get a story out there. They already know that Conch Company is what it is, but they just want to get that story so they can get it out there to be viral. And I asked them, I'm like, why? Why is that? Why? Why? Forget it. I'm not going to waste my time energy and money just to go to a company that i know that is horrible and 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 try to make something out of it so i can come back out 
and tell a story of my situation that happened over there. But don't get me wrong, controversial company. It's, it's still here, multiple LLCs, and they do have some people over there that are winning one way or the other. I'm just saying, I don't know. My man in this situation, which was unfortunate, he was about to lose his, his house. 60% of his savings is gone or 60% of his credit is used. And it's just all faltering down, man. I, I get it. But he did what he did to the truck and made sure that the truck was incapacitated. And there's a lot going on with the trucks. A lot of these drivers that's, that's getting done some kind of way. Hell, controversial company Super Eagle is finding some of their trucks over in Africa somewhere. And somebody is actually selling these trucks and sending them in a container. But what about the responsibilities of the people that signed those leases, though? You signed the lease. Your name is on there. And it's a legal doctrine that controversial company super eagle can use against you i don't know my guy tells me that they don't do what they need to do to get these trucks back so that's why there are so many trucks out there that are being recovered right now so he says that they don't even mess with your records but again i i'm sorry that that happened to that young man with the company and there's all there's all sorts of stories out there that's just like this of black op companies messing up these people and for what these people is still giving them the benefit of the doubt and if you think that they still giving it the benefit of the doubt you would think that controversial company super eagle and all the other black op companies would do better you think they would do better but unfortunately they're not and of course, you're going to end up getting more and more situations like this man did to this truck and more and more stories that will be coming on the podcast because people want to get their stories out there. But listen, if you want to get your story here on the Lockout Man podcast, you can do that. You can hit me up in the email. You can hit me up on the channel number. Give me a synopsis of what happened to you and how long you've been with the company. But you got to understand something. Now it's to the point that people has only been with the company for like a week and want to tell their stories. Listen, no, no, no diss to you or anything like that. I definitely understand if you have a story to tell. But if you only been there for a week, you basically telling the same story that everybody else had already told. Is just being told by a different person. So if you only been there for a week, we already know that the company is trash over there. We already know that they're going to probably send you out to recover a truck to drive. We already know that the trailer, that the trailer lot is trash. We already know that it looks like a refugee camp inside. We already know that all the paperwork and all the runaround that you're going to have to do. We, we know that. We know that. Okay. So you pretty much that part of the story, we know. And you only been there for a week. If you don't get paid within that first week, I, I should just let you know that within that first week, you're not. You're not going to get paid. Well, let me let me rephrase this. You're not going to get paid what you're inspecting to get paid in the first week of any black ops company. Because in that first week, that's when they're going to come and get their money back. So if they gave you any money, or said how much money that was going to come out, that's what they're going to take. I I would think that it probably might take about a couple of weeks to actually seize some money. But if they just deliberately not paying you, then yeah, it's a problem. And you should definitely step out. We're heading over to Oak Lawn, Illinois, where a off-duty police sergeant Working security at a trucking company is shot in the Chicago suburbs. We are learning more about a workplace shooting that injured an off-duty police officer in suburban Oak Lawn. The officer was working security at a trucking company when an employee got into an argument, pulled a gun, and started shooting at security guards. The officer was hit in his leg and bulletproof vest. The shooter was tackled and arrested. Now, at first I thought, I, I thought this was controversial company.
but this is over at a different area. And the company name that I see in the picture is MN89. M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, 89. Now, when I first heard of M89, I thought they was from Minnesota. That's what I thought. But that is another black ops company uh, that's located in the Chicagoland area. The story out of there goes an off-duty Oak Lawn police sergeant working for a private security firm was shot and wounded during a confrontation with an employee Monday. Of course, this employee, I'm going to assume, is a truck driver and a disgruntled truck driver at that. I think he came over, went in there, situation happened, probably might be over money. As always, they asked him to leave. He refused to leave. Him and the private quote unquote security slash cop got into it. He pulled out his gun. Continue with the rest of the story. Oakland police were called to a trucking company at the South Central Avenue where they learned that an off-duty officer has been shot. Police learned that an employee of the trucking company has gotten into a quarrel with employees just before firing the shots. The off-duty police sergeant and other armed security officers was present and standing nearby at the time. At one point during the quarrel, quarrel, but we're just going to say fight. The employee took a semi-automatic handgun from his pocket. The second security officer fired at least one round at the employee. I don't understand why they're still calling him an employee at this point, who was now attacking the sergeant. The employee fired five rounds at the sergeant, hitting him multiple times in his vest, while also wounding him once in the leg. During the attack, the employee's gun jammed, and the sergeant and security officers were able to subdue him. They subdued the employee who shot the officer, took him into custody with help of others at the scene. The sergeant then placed a tourniquet on his leg and was taken to the area hospital while the second officer suffered minor injuries and refused medical treatment. The employee accused of shooting the officer remained in custody while awaiting charges Monday night. Wow. Stories like this happened years ago. Uh, Y'all remember the story that I talked about the one guy? that went to these black op companies, uh, shot and killed one of the owner guys there. And he was on his way to the other company to do the same thing when he was confronted by the police in the parking lot. Unfortunately, he saw no other way but to unalive himself at the scene. I don't know if these black op companies is, is watching these stories or listening to these stories of these people that's being disgruntled and going over there and messing with their money. Messing with their livelihoods. Half of these people, I've seen the article and it was showing controversial company Super Eagle, all types of walks just hanging around in the office. Bags, raggedy clothes, some of them sleeping up against walls. And I'm like, is that a trucking company or 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 a homeless shelter? What which one is it? Somebody said in the comment section that it was a homeless shelter for reject truckers. I said, man, no. I said, no, that, that can't be true. Reject truckers. But some of the truckers that do end up at Super Eagle's door, though, are those that probably have problem with their SAP, probably might have a felony and they can't get in with other companies. They probably might had their first incident with a company and now they're being blacklisted. There's a lot of reasons why guys end up at the front door of controversial company Super Eagle and black op companies like that. Back then when I talked to them, they was like, yo, you can come here. We need about two years of experience, but now they sent four months. It's not enough time. It's not enough time for a person that got into a truck. Let's say he got in a truck at Swift and he only been there for four months and now he's trying to go 
owner operator and lease and he don't know nothing about the business side and when i see more and more people doing that i just see that that they all coming over there like yo i don't have to pay for a truck all i have to do is just pay into a truck and 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 just try to rock out for the last three years but you got to understand you paying for a truck. How are you going to pay for that truck? You got to run the miles. How are you going to run the miles? You need the freight. And a lot of the times, there ain't no good freight out there. Well, there's freight, but there's not good rates, would it? And being a four-month driver, you're not going to know that. You're definitely not going to know that you need about $2 a mile in order to sustain the company. You're going to need to know how to fuel your truck properly. Controversial company, Super Eagle, ain't going to teach you that. They're not going to teach you that. And I know there's a lot of guys over there that will probably come in the comment session and say different. And I get it. I don't have a problem with them doing that. But those are the same guys that's over there that's, that's probably have some type of connection with the company in some type of capacity rather they're getting paid to come on social media to tell you about the company or they hooked up with the right fleet manager and they're rocking out with the company or if they with a click of dispatchers and drivers that that will get that will work out well for them as as well but that's not going to always be for the for the new drivers that comes in the controversial company super eagle you're going to have to understand that you're going to be at 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 the bottom and you're going to have to work your way up half of these guys that's over there claiming that they're winning that they're making money and everything they've been there for a while and they accept the assignment that's given to them now a lot of the stuff that be happening over there are speculative a lot of the stuff over there is is a ledge but just like what happened to that gentleman that drove for triton logistics and he came out and put them on blast as far as them augmenting their laws i kind of heard the same thing over here but when he got in trouble and they reached out to the company for comment they threw that dude smooth under the bus. So you just got to understand that, yeah, you accepting the crazy terms and the assignments that these blackout companies are giving you. But you got to understand something. If you get in trouble, that company isn't going to stand behind you. All right. So I appreciate you guys coming over. Thank you very much. And uh, again, I, I just want you guys to uh, to do your research which I know you guys are controversial company, super Eagle been around for years. And I'm sure a lot of us in the trucking industry knows about them, but if you still want to give them and other black op companies the benefit of the doubt, definitely go ahead. I'm here for the story. And if you reach out to the lockout men and say, Hey, I got a story. Tell me about it. I want to hear it, but I just kind of hope that you've been there for a while to tell it. Because if you only been there for a week, sir, we already know what goes down at the uh, controversial company, Super Eagle. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.